Yo, what's happening, Sacramento? Sacktown Pete back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I really do appreciate you all. Uh, let's talk about it. The season schedule is here, and boy, I am excited. So we open up the season on October 25th on the road in Utah against the Jazz. Our first home game of the season is a Friday night, October 27th, and that will be against the Golden State Warriors. That will be a ESPN game. And then Sunday evening, the 29th, we play the Los Angeles Lakers at home. And that will be our first look at the Los Angeles Lakers. And then we go on the road November 1st. We play the Golden State Warriors in the Bay Area, in Golden State. Uh, what a first four games to start your season. Um, this is good. This is good because uh, three out of your four games is going to be against your division rivals and the Lakers and the Golden State Warriors. And then you got some breathing room. Um, you know, you play Houston twice. You got a Portland uh, Trailblazers team that still has Damian Lillard. And then the first in-season tournament game will be Friday, November 10th against the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm actually excited for this game. This is well, this will be a home game. And it will be our first look at Chet Holmgren. Uh, we play Cleveland Cavaliers afterwards. Then we go to the road on the Lakers against the Lakers. And then we go on to San Antonio to play against the Spurs. We got Luka and Kyrie coming out on the 19th. We play the Pelicans twice. Uh, our first look at a healthy Carl Anthony Towns on the 24th of November. I believe that's a block Friday. And then we play Golden State at home on the 28th. That will be an, another in-season game uh, tournament. And the Clippers following off that at home. And then the Denver uh, Nuggets will be December, the first game in December. So a lot to dissect the first uh, 17 games. And out of the 17 games, I look at the first uh, 17 games, I can potentially see a lot, a lot of wins for the Sacramento Kings here. Um, if we look at the, if we go deep into the November, or should I say December, we play the Brooklyn Nets at home on the on the 11th, the Clippers on the road, then OKC at home, then Utah at home, then Washington at home. And then the Boston Celtics come into town on the uh, Christmas week, December 20th. The Phoenix Suns afterwards at home game, the 22nd. Ooh, that should be a good one. We'll get a look at Kevin Durant's first time in a, in a Suns uniform against the Kings. Then the Wolves at Blazers, at Hawks, at Memphis, at Charlotte. Um, excuse me, Charlotte at home, then Orlando, then Toronto. Then the Pelicans in January. Um... Just looking overall at the schedule, man, it, it, it's, a, it's a tough schedule. It's saying that we have the third hardest schedule in the league, but that's perfectly fine. It's going to make us better. So after the Pelicans on the 7th in January, we go to Detroit, Charlotte, at Philadelphia, at Milwaukee, and at Phoenix. So that's a five-game road trip early on to start the, the new year. Then we come back at home. Tyrese Halliburton will be in town on the 18th of January. And then we play the Hawks at home. Then we go back to, to the Bay against the Golden State on the 25th. At Dallas, at Memphis, at Miami, at Indiana, at Chicago, at Cleveland. That is a eight, seven-game road trip right there. So then we come back home. Our first home game in February will be against the Detroit Pistons. Then the Denver Nuggets and on OKC. And at Phoenix, at Denver. Then come back home in San Antonio. Then we go back on the road against the Clippers. Then Miami at home. Then at Denver. Then at Minnesota. That Minnesota game, that'll be the first game of March. We come back home, play the Bulls, and at Lakers, then home at Spurs, then home at Houston, Milwaukee, Lakers, New York, Memphis. That's a good 5-6 game right there at home. It's going to be a good home stand right there in March. Uh, then we play uh, on the road against the Toronto Raptors at Washington, at Orlando. They come back home, Philadelphia, Dallas, Dallas again, and Utah at home, and Clippers at home. That will be the first game in April, and then at New York, at Boston, at Brooklyn, at OKC. They come back home on the 11th against the Pelicans, Phoenix, and then we wrap it up. Wrap up the season against the Portland Trail Blazers on the 14th of April. And then after that, you guys already know, the playoffs will be afterwards. So overall, uh, a very challenging schedule. Like I said, they... Break down the schedule. They're saying that the Sacramento Kings have the third hardest schedule in the league. And like I said, I'm perfectly fine with that because it's going to make us better, stronger than ever. And we are looking forward to having this season a, another successful season. 
Um, the Sacramento Kings got to come out and prove that last season was not no damn fluke. And I'm extremely confident they will do that. They will come out this season and make sure and plead their case that they belong in the upper echelon of the Western Conference and will be known as a Western Conference powerhouse this season and for many seasons beyond. So there you guys go. There you guys have it. That is the 2023-2024 NBA Sacramento Kings schedule for the season. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the schedule. That's going to do it for you for today's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Have yourself a great rest of your evening. Take care. God bless. Keep pushing forward, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.